Welcome back. I'm glad you joined me again. Last time we started looking at the story of a new beginning and how God saw that the earth needed to be cleaned or cleansed of the sadness and difficulty that had come into it as people were not friends of his anymore. And he found one friend who he asked to start building an ark, a great big boat, because God was going to wash the earth. So let's get ready and let's find the book and the bookmark, switch the glasses, and continue with that story. The last we read, God had closed the door on the ark with all those noisy animals of all sizes and all kinds inside. Here's how the story continues. And it started raining for minutes that joined up into hours, that joined up into days, that joined up into weeks and weeks of rain. And the rain joined up into puddles, that joined up into rivers, that joined up into lakes, that joined up into a flood that covered the whole earth, the whole world. Their boat that had once seemed so big suddenly seemed very small. But in the middle of the huge storm, in the crashing waves, in all the thunder and lightning, through it all, God was with them. And God kept them safe for forty long days and forty long nights. Finally, the rain stopped. The sun came out and Noah threw open all the windows. Hooray, everyone shouted, and each animal made its own hooray sound. What kind of a hooray sound would an elephant make, do you think? Or a horse? Or a sheep? How would a parrot say hooray? I think a parrot might just say hooray, but they might just squawk too. So everyone is celebrating, everyone is happy. Noah sent his dove out to explore, and it wasn't long before she brought him back a fresh olive leaf. Remember how I said this was made of olive, and it says shalom on it? Olive trees are very common in the area of the world where the Bible was written, where most of its stories happened. And so a fresh branch from an olive showing that the world wasn't completely underwater anymore. Everyone knew exactly what that meant. She had found a tree and therefore land. The water was going down. But before I turn the page, I'll show you the picture of the boat in the middle of the storm with no land in sight anywhere. Maybe the fish were the only animals that, the only creatures in the world that were having a fun time. At last, the boat landed quite suddenly on top of a great mountain. As soon as it was safe, God said, Out you come! And so they did, everyone skipping and dancing onto dry land. And I'm kind of chuckling at the picture. I'll show it to you in a moment, because the picture is a bit ridiculous. The first thing Noah did was to thank God for rescuing them, just as he had promised to do. And the first thing God did was make another promise. I won't ever destroy the world like that again. And like a warrior who puts away his bow and arrow at the end of a great battle, God said, See, I have hung up my bow in the clouds. So first I'll show you the one, the picture I chuckled about. So there's the boat way up at the peak of a mountain. And you can see the people there 
coming and animals coming out of the boat. And it's pretty pretty tricky situation. And that's kind of a fun picture. And then there's the picture of the bow, God's war bow, hanging on a hook in the sky. And of course, we call it something different. We don't call it a war bow. We call it a rainbow. And there in the clouds, just where the storm meets the sun, was a beautiful bow, an arch, made of light. It was a new beginning in God's world. And a reminder of God's promise never to do that again. It wasn't long before everything went wrong again. But God wasn't surprised. He knew this would happen. That's why before the beginning of time, he had another plan. A better plan. A plan not to destroy the world, but to rescue it. A plan to one day send his own son, the rescuer. God's strong anger against hate and sadness and death would come down once more, but not on his own people or his world. No, God's war bow was not pointing down at his people. It was pointing up into the heart of heaven. And that's the end of that story. And so I will put the bookmark in, put the book away, change my glasses, and say to you, Shalom and serenity until we meet again.